I always like to start with, uh, just please introduce yourself. What do you, and what do you do? Okay. I am uh, Michelle Martin. I am the Beverly Cleary Professor for Children and Youth Services in the Information School at the University of Washington. And I teach primarily students who are going to be youth services librarians. So those who are going to work with children and young adult uh, in libraries and other um, library and information science spaces. Has your parenting influenced your work or vice versa? Oh, they're very much tied together. My, my parenting and my, my teaching are very much tied together. We started reading to Amelia in utero with one of those, you know, sort of utero phones um, mm -hmm. and just sort of saturating her in um, a literacy rich environment. So we'd have a roll doll um, book that she'd be going to sleep to while her daddy was reading one book to her and I was reading another book to her and she eats books now. I mean, she's like, you know, reads a lot faster than I do and really loves story. How how would you stress the importance of libraries in a day where, you know, someone might say we have computers and we have, you know, all these other things and we can read books, you know, right away. Why do we need physical libraries in our communities? What would be your argument for that? One, I think libraries are a great equalizer because it doesn't matter who you are, how much money you have, where you're from. If you walk into a library, you can get everything there for free. Everyone can um, get a library card, right? Everybody can get a library card. A lot of libraries have gotten rid of fines, um, have gotten rid of the requirement of you're having to have a, you know, a physical address, um, trying to accommodate so that people who are immigrants, people who are refugees, people who um, are homeless, uh, who are unhoused, uh, will also be able to access the career services that libraries offer. I know libraries that have a machine shop, so you can go and like, you know, build stuff. You can make music. Um, and so I think the beauty of libraries is that, you know, there are lots of things that you can access if you have the money to buy a computer or if your school provides a computer for you. But libraries, everything there is designed to um, to appeal to and be accessible to everyone who walks in the door. I want to take advantage of your expertise and knowledge here and have you recommend a couple of books for my 10 year old daughter, Amelia. All right. This is The Arrival by Sean Tan, who is an Australian illustrator. And I think it's a perfect example of a book that puts readers in the position of alienation for uh, understanding the immigrant experience. Mm -hmm. So this man has... Um, has had to leave home and he goes to a place that is very unfamiliar to him. He can't even read the language. And it's about the way that he navigates that whole situation. Um, Little Monarchs is a graphic novel and this one isn't colored all the way through because this is a um, early version of it. Um, but this is by Jonathan Case. And it's a book about a little girl who ends up, you're not sure why she isn't with her family until toward the end, um, but the, the, there's something that has happened that has made everyone allergic to the sun. So everybody has to go underground. And the, the way that you are able to survive is there's a serum that she and an older woman that takes care of her have created to be able to make you tolerant of sun, sunlight. Um, but it's a fascinating sort of picaresque because it's a journey. They go a lot of different places and um, to try to reunite her with her family. And then Pet by Akwikwia Maisie is about a trans girl who uh, lives in, the, in a town that had monsters, no longer has monsters, but some creature comes out of a painting that her mother has created mm -hmm. that tells her that there, there's a monster that's living in the house of redemption, which is redemption is her best friend. So Pet is a fantastic uh, read, really interesting. And uh, Jam, the the child, the girl, the protagonist's name is fascinating. She's great. Wow. And yeah, I really love the setting there. Well, I'm going to look um, those up uh, for you. And uh, when she reads one or two, I might, I might correspond with you and let you know what she thinks. I would love that. I would love okay. that. Yeah. Well, you uh -huh. know, this has been a great conversation. Thank you so much for your time. And Thank you for reaching out. <laughs>